In this example, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to demonstrate why compound interest, it's the most powerful yet misunderstood tool. It makes the poor poor and the rich richer. So interest versus compound interest. So everyone understands interest, but compound interest, I'm not sure if they really understand it. So compound interest, it's the accumulation of interest on interest, deceptively small cumulative growth. Albert Einstein called it one of the most powerful forces in the universe, because I don't think you realize just how much of an effect interest on interest is. Those who understood it earned it. This is per Albert Einstein. And those who didn't understand it paid it. So I'm going to demonstrate using something called the Rule of 72. It was developed by Albert Einstein as well. He was a, a mathematician. <clears throat> and I went to four years of university and I took finance in high school. Never heard of this before until I was at a financial presentation put on, a free financial presentation put on by a company called World Financial Group. And I was amazed when I heard this. Um, I seriously use this almost every day. And once you figure it out, and it may take a bit, but I love this. So he created this math shortcut to calculate and demonstrate the effects of compound interest. How to easily calculate when your money will double at any given interest rate. So you take 72 divided by your interest rate, and that's the number of years for your money to double. Say what? I know it's, um, it's a little crazy, but I'm going to show you, and, and probably by the end of this uh, example, you'll get it. So, okay. So I'm going to start with a 29-year-old with $10,000. Money doubles at 2%. Money doubles every 36 years. So if they have 10000 by age 29 and add 36 years, by age 65, They've got one doubling, they have 20,000. At 4%, the money doubles every 18 years. All right, always going to take the same scenario of a 29 year old, but they've done a little bit more homework. They're making an extra 2% on their money. So now their money is going to double every 18 years. So 29 plus 18 by age 47, they've got 20,000. They get one more doubling by age 65, 20 doubled is 40,000. At 6%, 72 divided by 6 is 12. Their money doubles every 12 years. So if they've done even just that little bit of more homework, an extra 2%, I'll show you the difference, okay? Start at age 29. Their money doubles every 12 years. So goes by age 41, they've got 20. By age 53, 40. By age 65, they've got that one extra doubling. And it's always the end doublings that are the most exciting. So that's $80,000. At 8%, money doubles every nine years. 72 divided by eight is nine. Let's just see how that works out. So just an extra 2%, again, doubles every nine years. So now 38, you've got 20, 47. By age 47, you've got 40. By age 56, you've got 80. And by age 65, you have $160,000. Uh, another thing I want to point out is I'm assuming... This is just put $10,000 away at age 29 and never touch it. So you're never adding to it. You're just reinvesting the interest, but, but you're not adding any more of your money. And, but you're also not taking it out. At 12%, your money doubles every six years, okay? So by age 53, 160,000. So you see how much better off you are. 
So every six years, you had 320. By age 65, $640,000. So by age 29, you, you're able to put 10,000 away into something at 12%, never touch it. Don't do anything, don't take any money out of it. Just keep reinvesting the interest automatically, never add to it, never, re never remove anything. By age 65, you've got $640,000. $640, Just gonna move my face over to here, I don't know where. All right, at 18, and your money doubles every four years. And the only reason, well, I was gonna say the only reason I'm doing 18 and 24, which you'll see, is because probably every one of you right now has something that's making 18 or 24% right now. It's not making it for you though, it's making it for the bank, and that's credit cards. So, I just want to show you if you have 10,000 balance on your credit cards, that money is going to the bank. Okay, so every four years, you're, the, the amount is doubling. Um, and this, so this works for interest that you're paying or interest that you're earning. So by each, every four years, your money is doubling. Like if you can make 18% on your money, that is really very exciting, okay? 49, 320,000, by age 53, 640, and it's really exciting as you get a little bit more. By age 57, $1.2 million. So this is a 29-year-old, put 10,000 away, and never touched it, 1.2 million, okay? By age 61, 2.5 million, and by age 65, $5 million. I'm just going to show you at 24% for fun. And uh, again, it's just mainly because that's where your credit card debt normally is. So the money doubles every three years. So this is the money that the bank is making off of you right now. So the same 29 year old money is doubling every three years by age 59, 10 million, by age 62, 20 million, by age 65, $40 million. Unbelievable, the effects of compound interest. Now, this is where most people's debt is right now, okay? It's in this 8%, 12%, 18, and 24. So that would be consumer loans, credit cards, even car loans are in this area. This is where people's debt is. But most people's savings are over here. Okay, most people have got their savings in just bank accounts or mutual funds making hardly nothing, okay? So what happens is their debt is growing faster than their savings. They're getting poorer and poorer every day. All right, so their debt is growing. Every day their debt is growing faster than their savings. So they're getting poorer and poorer without doing anything. What if all your debt was over here? And all your savings was way over here, okay? Your savings would grow faster than your debt. You'd be richer and richer every day doing nothing and your money is just automatically making more. <clears throat> so as you can see, compounding is a powerful part of building wealth. And what makes it so hard to get out from under a mountain of consumer debt. Paying interest on interest, it feels like a crime, but earning interest on interest, heavenly. You get to decide, do you want to earn interest on interest or do you want to pay interest on interest? 